Hey guys, um, I want to come on real quick and talk to you guys about back to school and our children's body image because they are constantly bombarded daily by images of bodies that are practically impossible to attain because they're either airbrushed or because the person has a personal chef and works out for hours or they just know how to pose. We all know how to pose so that we look best in a photo, right? Well. So do those people, you know, what we see in, in social media is the highlight reel, let's be honest about it. Um, so I think that that can confuse our children and um, with back to school around the corner, whether it's remote or in the classroom, if they are not feeling confident, if they're not eating properly, if they're not exercising, getting enough sleep, it's gonna show their grades are gonna suffer. And so it's so important right now to start um, guiding them in the right direction and start teaching them about eating properly. And it's not really, complicated we don't have to over complicate it you know if we don't shop for it and if it's not available at home then they can't have it which means we shouldn't have processed food at home we should try to have as many vegetables and fruit at home and have them help you pick them out you know give them some say in what fruits what vegetables you guys are gonna eat have them try them uh, make it kind of a contest maybe even have uh, once a week make it a family dinner contest that could be fun and it has to be something healthy um, sometimes it'll be a success, sometimes it won't, but I think that when you give them more participation in the process, they're more engaged in the process. Same with workouts. It's important that they exercise, but not to be thin, not to be skinny. It's about being strong. Teach them the importance of being strong, um, to develop uh, a healthy, strong body that can run, that can lift, that can do um, powerful things, and, and teach them that, you know, be an example of that. and. Um, have a family contest, a weekly family contest. Maybe um, everybody gets a Fitbit and see who can get the most steps um, for the week. Uh, do a family, like an hourly Just Dance It um, contest if you have a video game. Um, get them off the electronics, you know, make them go outside. I mean, sometimes if they have activities after school, that works, but otherwise, if they don't, Take them for a bike ride, take them for a walk after dinner. You know, get yourself up and take them out um, for a walk. It's, it's, I know it's responsibility. It makes our life a little bit more difficult, but in the long run, it's really well worth it when our kids are healthy. Um, just like sleeping, make sure that they're going to sleep at um, kind of the same time every night for school and because they're gonna have to wake up early and it's gonna be an adjustment right now with the summer, so you might want to start doing that one right now. They're gonna complain, but stand strong. Um, and just make the process of being healthy and eating healthy a fun one. When you do that, it's rewarding, and they're gonna be happy, and they're going to feel that they have a say in the process. And trust me, when they go away to college or when as they get older, you're gonna see that not only has it benefited them, but it benefited you, because you feel stronger yourself, you are all healthier and it's just a good way to start um, now getting back into the routine and going back to school and remember if you need help if you need guidance I am here for you I am here to serve you I invite you to join one of my groups I invite you to talk to me or I invite you to join me be on my team be part of our amazing community it's all about being healthy it's about having healthy families and um, making our lives the most fulfilling they can be and the best they can be. Bye.